Yeah, good to be back. Um, you know, we got the call about midday. I was just off the plane and uh, on my way home, and um, you know, like I said, Hainsy was no good, and I'm I'm starting. So, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's all happening now. So it's uh, it's exciting. What was going through your mind when he, when he called you? Um, yeah, I guess I, I was sort of looking to come down in the camp and, and, and train as if I was playing, and you know, hopefully I, I, I would get a start. I mean, um, if, if Ainsley was no good, but you know, to get that call and, and to give myself a week of uh, good prep is um, is going to be great for me. Bit of a whirlwind, mate. Did you even think you were on the on the radar? Um, mate, uh, I guess um, you know, as long as Wayne and, and all the boys at the Knights were happy with how I was going, then you know, I, I couldn't be happy with that. But uh, you know, to be yeah, um, selected here again. It's um, it is great. It's a sort of a probably a monkey off my back. It's something I've wanted to do again, and um, you know, if I've, you know, it's been a few years, so I finally got here. Did you think your time passed you by? Did you ever get another crack at it? Uh, I don't know if I, I thought the time had passed me by. I knew, um, you know, there's a, a fair few bikes that had had a crack um, since, and yeah, you know, I just had to work hard and keep playing with good footy. And if the opportunity came, um, that'd be great. But if it didn't come, then I'd be playing good club footy, so um, I, could, I couldn't complain either way. How, how different are you, or how better prepared are you than 2009? Um, I think probably things I've gone through in the last probably few years are probably a lot mentally tougher. Um, Wayne's certainly been a coach that's um, allowed me to prepare well um, and, and to play, be really consistent. So, um, you know, I know they haven't picked me to, to do anything different than what I'm doing at club level, so. Um, you know, I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Do you have to think about how big this game is next week, mate? Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's probably something that will uh, enter their thoughts in the, in the next few days. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a cracker. So um, we've got to make sure our prep's fantastic and, and we uh, tick all the boxes and, you know, hopefully we can get them. They obviously directed a fair bit of traffic down that, that wing in game two. So I think you're expecting a, a torrid torrid test down there? Yeah, I can't, can't imagine it's any different, but uh, you know, the amount of ball that they had in that uh, in, in game two is, you know, they're going to they're gonna put points on, on, on any team, really, so, um, you know, we've, we've just got to make sure we start well and, uh, and stick it to them. Did you watch the first two games? Yeah, definitely, yeah. What did you make of, of the series so far? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great series. I thought um, the boys come out with a you know they were on fire in that first game, and um, obviously Queensland retaliated in the second game. It's, you know, it's it's going to be a great game. This third one. What do you remember from your debut? Um, just how fast it was, I guess, and uh, you know how good um, players like Jonathan Thurston and Greg Inglis can be um, when they get plenty of ball. So, you know, we've got to make sure we're on, on our game. What is it that you think that you'll bring to the side to the decider? Yeah, like I said before, I don't think they've picked me to do anything different than what I'm doing at club level. So um, as long as I'm, I'm doing all those things well, like doing the, all the tough carries and, uh, and making sure my defence is on song and uh, getting the ball when it's in the air. It's, and uh, I, I think a lot of, probably a lot of yardage carries is, is probably what I'm going to have to do.